Celtic's development side were crowned champions with seven games left in the season after late goals from Theo Archibald and Joe Thompson saw them prevail in a fiercely fought contest against St Johnston at Capelo yesterday. An absorbing encounter looked to be ending in stalemate, which would have put the Young Hoops title celebrations on hold. The visitors forced Celtic goalkeeper Ross Duhan to make an early save on 16 minutes. George Hunter was on target for St Johnston, but Duhan blocked the shot with his legs. Both sides fashioned chances, and with just over 10 minutes left on the clock, the Hoops youngsters' perseverance was rewarded. After a prolonged spell of pressure, Aidan McElduff's low cross was only partially cleared by the Saints, and Theo Archibald was on hand to sweep the ball home. It was a well-taken goal from Theo, and it meant that the boys were one step closer to the league title. Shortly after the boys took the lead, George Hunter came close again for the visitors, heading the ball off the bar from a St Johnston corner. But moments later, Celtic were awarded a free kick in stoppage time for a foul on Regan Hendry. Joe Thompson took it quickly and raced clear before calmly slotting the ball past goalkeeper Ben McKenzie. Thompson linked up well with Dan Higgins to seal all three points for the boys and the league title. There were, of course, joyous scenes at the final whistle on the pitch and in the home dressing room. It was a well-deserved success for Tommy McIntyre, the backroom staff and all of the young players who have yet to taste defeat in the league campaign. A remarkable record and a testament to their determination to reclaim the title after finishing runners-up last season. 25 games unbeaten and with the league title already in the bag, the Hoops will play the remaining seven fixtures as champions. For us, it's great to, to win the league, but no lose any, no lose any games, you know. So um, great for the young players in there. Really delighted with for them. You know, they did well on Friday there, and they've, they've kind of topped it off this this week as well. Did you feel the goals were coming? Um, I thought we had some good passes to play, but not enough. I don't think we threatened enough in the second half. Uh, they made it difficult for us at times, but we got to grip with the game. We stuck in there. You know, we were, we were resilient. And as I say, the first goal was a fantastic goal. You know, a great move down the side and a fantastic finish with you. Um, obviously, we knew we needed to win the game tonight. Um, we obviously did have all games to spare, but we just wanted to keep the unbeaten run going and uh, pick up the win and win it as soon as possible. Oh, it feels great, to be honest, especially to go unbeaten this far in the season. It's just a great feeling, to be honest. And, to do it with a big crowd and stuff tonight, it's a great feeling. And the unbeaten run, how big a thing is that for you and the boys? Uh, brilliant, it's something for us to hold on to I think. Um, it's what's driven us <coughs> for the second half of the season. Um, knowing that you can go unbeaten is something we want to achieve. So. so I mean it's something we're looking to kind of extend to the end of the season. Um, obviously there's no point in sitting saying it's unbeaten just now, but um, and there's maybe 10 games left. So we're well, taking one game at a time and obviously looking forward to Thursday and hopefully keep this going. Possibly the most important goal of your career so far? I'd say so, yeah. I, uh, I scored a goal against Wales in the Victory Shield to equalise, but similar sort of feeling. Um, and obviously to come and we're, we're winning the title at the end of it is probably the best goal. It's the best feeling by far as well, yeah. The secret is keep the momentum going, still business as usual for you guys? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we'll, we'll celebrate right when, when the, all the games are over and we've gone unbeaten, hopefully. Oh, it's great! It's great for you know. Any, you win any trophy, you know it's great for Celtic. You know the biggest trophy for these guys will be developing and getting into the first team if they can or progressing. And it's about performance. You know that's a big trophy for them, but it's great for them. You know, you don't get sick of winning. That's a big thing, and, and there's good habits in winning as well. As I said, good performance. You know we stuck in it, and I say we got the reward at the end.